Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this 11th video of our stopwatch series we're going to finally make sure that the time ticks in real time so that instead of having an app that looks like this I press start and nothing happens and when I press stop I see the final values we want this thing to tick while, we, while it's running so we want this to update in real time so how do we do that? well, first things first I need to reject this call because I'm recording so can I call you later? Yes, thank you very much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use textual timers to run and update this time elapsed once every one sixtieth of a second. So we want to update this 60 times per second so that our timer uh, runs at 60 frames per second because why not? So how do we do this? Well, the first thing is we define the method that updates the time elapsed. So let's just call this update time elapsed. And the only purpose of this method is to update how much time it has elapsed since the, the timer was started. So this is just actually what's also done here in stop. We just update this value. Now the thing is we want this method to be called 60 times per second because calling this will change this. And this is a reactive, which means it will trigger this, which will update the time stream. So how do we get this to be called 60 times per second? Well, what we want to do is, when this widget is put on the screen, we want to set something to run 60 times per second. So how do we do this? Well, we start by defining a method called onMount. Now this method is special because on mount runs when time display is mounted. That is, this method right here runs when the time display is put on the screen. On mount, this is a handler method because it's it's similar to what's going on here. It's not a coincidence that this is at on and that thing over there is on mount. So it's two different ways of handling messages. So when the widget is mounted, we want to set an interval so that every 1 60th of a second this runs. So we type self.setInterval. Now this is a method that all widgets have. Now you type in the time interval between each call. So what this means is wait for 1 over 60 seconds and then call self.update time elapsed. So what's written here is whenever the widget is mounted on the screen start a timer, start a textual timer that calls this thing every 1 over 60 seconds which in other words means call this 60 times per second. So now if we run the app we get an error. So this is actually nice because I forgot something. So What's missing is when the timer is created, when the time display is created, this gets called and this starts running and this is using self.startTime which wasn't defined yet. So the best thing to do is just to be safe, you can create a start time here, monotonic. And now running this, we see that the app is kind of working. So we see the updates in real time. We just haven't started the timer yet. So this shouldn't really be running yet. But we can fix this easily because instead of creating the set interval like this, we say that it should start as paused. And instead of just running this and dropping the return value into the void, this actually returns a textual timer that you can use to pause and resume this thing. So we're going to keep a reference to it, so let's call it update timer. And in fact, when the stopwatch is started, then you take a look at the update timer and you start it. So it's actually called resume. You resume it because it was paused. And when you stop the timer, when you stop the stopwatch, you take a look at the timer, update timer, and you pause it again. So now, this doesn't start counting until you start the stopwatch and it stops when you stop the stopwatch.
Oops. Now what we want to do is we want to accumulate so you can actually start and pause the stopwatch and then clear it with reset. So how can we accumulate things? Well, we're going to go ahead and let's say that the accumulated time accumul accumulated time is zero because when it starts we haven't accumulated any time and when we stop the stopwatch we take the time that was elapsed and we actually update the total time so the accumulated time needs to grow it's actually after this one it needs to grow by however much time it was elapsed on this run and when we update the time we have to so now this is we are starting and stopping our our stopwatch so this is how much time has elapsed in the most recent run in the most recent time the the most recent turn that we started the stopwatch so we also need to take into account how much has already been accumulated what is it called accumulated time plus this much uh, I wanted to break this into separate lines because I don't have lots of vertical space. Can I do this explicitly without getting overthrown by my own? I can't. Okay, so that's the thing. We take however much time was already accumulated in previous runs and we just add how much time it has been elapsed in the most recent run. So is this working? I think so. Let's take a look. We start, we stop, we resume, we stop. Whoops. Notice that when we stopped, we're showing the wrong thing. Okay, so when we stop, we're showing the wrong thing. Um, we should be showing... Okay, so we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't... Right, because in here we're losing... We're updating it in the wrong way. If you take a look, notice that update time elapsed looks like this. Self.accumulated time plus this difference. And when we're stopping, we are overwriting it and updating it in... We're updating it in the wrong way. So actually, I think we can just get rid of that. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Very nice. So now we can accumulate time. The only thing... What? Ah, okay, interesting. So now notice that it's at 17, and now if I start it, it's suddenly at 34. So it looks like it never stopped counting. So what is wrong now? When we start, we reset the start time. Oh boy, what I'm why do I always mess something up? The accumulated time gets up here. No, this is not what we want to do, sorry. We accumulate this much. So the accumulated time is whatever was already accumulated plus the most recent run. Silly me. So we start, we stop. And when we start... Okay, so now this is correct. Sorry about that. I just messed this up. So self the time elapsed is the all time that has already elapsed throughout all the runs. And so when we stop, this will no longer be updated. So we need to keep track of how much we accumulated in this run. Because when we start again, this is going to go, this is going to be erased. Kind of, in a way. Now the only thing that's left is resetting the timer. And that's pretty simple given what we've done so far, and it's just to say that the accumulated time is zero and the time elapsed is zero. So if I quit and if I restart, start, 
stop, start, start, let's start this one as well. You can stop and reset. You can stop, reset, stop, reset. So right now we have stopwatches that can be started and stopped. The only thing left before this matches the application that I showed you in the beginning, the only thing left is being able to add and remove stopwatches via pressing A to add a stopwatch and R to remove a stopwatch. So that's the only thing that's missing and we'll leave it for the next video. All right, so I'll see you soon.